All right, everybody, it's time for the ultimate beast. Raid Shadow Legends on this edition of YouTube Sponsors Exposed! Before we get into all of this, if you like the content on this channel, please consider subscribing, joining the channel, becoming a Patreon member, etc. Because these videos usually are going to not only not make me money, but lose me money on potential sponsorships, etc. Now this one has been heavily requested and wanted. Raid Shadow Legends, the best RPG thingy on the App Store with a million billion five-star reviews. Choose your champions and level them up in a free-to-play beautiful experience. Let's get this out of here. Available on Android or iOS. Now, I had been preparing for this review. Oh yes, this will be my magnum opus of trolling the most evil, bureaucratic, terrible thing to clearly ever exist. You've seen how much they advertise. You've seen the ungodly amounts of spam advertising of this game. You can't go anywhere on YouTube without saying, Raid Shadow Legends. You have the creators themselves looking like their souls have been drained by this conglomerate. So, I played it. I was like, I, I, I decided it would be up to me to be your beacon of light, your hope in a world of advertising manipulation, blah, blah, bitty, blah, blah, blah. So this is my most like disheartening disappointment ever. Because this, this game, I mean, it, it's really fucking good. <laughs> I was ready to dog this game in every way that I've, I've ever dogged anything. This game had everything stacked against it going in, okay? The, the implicit biases of this reviewer were heavy against this game based on the advertising alone. But what the hell? Like, you're, you're greeted to the start of this game with, like, legit cutscenes, well voice acted, and humorous. If I can hit it just right. <laughs> I think I like this dragon. And, and like, it, it, this is a game that you know they make bank on, but you could tell they actually invest it back into the game. Like, there, there's gameplay mechanics for days. There's different, like, classes that do better or worse. There's really complex like RPG stuff that's reminiscent of some like JRPGs in certain ways with how convoluted it is. Not the combat style. The combat style is very turn-based. But there's like a lot of influences they've used here. It, it, the only way that I think playing this game would get annoying without paying is if you're trying to sit down and play it for like four hours straight or something or several hours straight. You're gonna need to, you know, get through paywalls to recharge energy or whatever. But if this is just something you're gonna pick up, play for 30 minutes to an hour, you know, between whatever, which is what I imagine I would ever do with mobile games. I'm not gonna sit down and do a gaming session on a mobile game, Not that's not my thing. I would just pick it up, play it for a little while. Maybe I'm, you know, waiting for a doctor's appointment or I'm bored or I'm trying to sleep, or whatever. You know, just pick it up, play it a little while, put it down. If that's how you're doing this, which is how I really think that you should do mobile games, which is an hour or so at a time, you're never gonna feel like you have to buy anything. Yeah, you're you're gonna get asked to buy stuff because they they want to make their money too. That, that's where they get you. You know, they get those people who are hooked and like staying on it 24/7 and spending hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars. That that's that's not the game maker's fault. No, that that's the people spending the money's fault. If the game maker makes the game perfectly playable without spending money, then it's just your fault if you do. Now, and if you even spent like $60 on this, you know, you spend $60 on other games that you probably play less. Honestly, spending $0 on this game, I got more enjoyable gameplay out of it than some games I've spent $60 on recently. And I didn't spend anything on this. So let's get to the fucking verdict and move on with my day. Uh, is it as advertised? Yes, it is as advertised. It is exactly what they say it is. It is a very complex, well-produced, good-looking mobile RPG thing with your champions and player versus player and everything is as advertised. Is it worth it? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you if you play mobile games, it's absolutely worth it. I don't really play mobile games, but if you do, this would be the one to play, and, and you'll get plenty of enjoyment out of it without buying anything. I don't even know, guys. This was the most unexpected YouTube fucking whatever exposed ever. I guess sponsor me, Raid. Please, I hear you pay well, and apparently you actually have a good fucking product, so... Screw me, I guess. Anyway, until next time, I scheme, you scheme, we all scheme for ice cream. Uh, comment down below what is the next product you want exposed. Bye!